Okay, it's time for Freaky Greek Pasta. I named this for my best friend Allie and her family because she's married to a Greek. A, a freaky Greek. Greek. <laughs> <laughs> so, get ready. Get ready to work quickly. All easy stuff, but the result is so delicious. Our water is boiling. I filled it up to the rivets and I started it boiling. I like my water, my pasta water, to taste like salt water. So this is about a tablespoon right here. You know to put your salt in after the water boils, right? Pound of pasta going in. We are setting our timer for three minutes less than the package says. That means we have 10 minutes to do the rest of this recipe. I'm giving our pasta a stir. We're gonna do the rest. Okay, we're gonna start with our broccoli. Um, we're gonna cut it into little florets and you wanna cut them the same size so they cook at the same length. And then we're going to wash it because I like to wash broccoli after it's cut because I think you get a more thorough cleaning. You're gonna crumble the feta cheese Whoa! into that uh, bowl. bowl. Without, the, without the water part. Without the water. Ah, uh, this brings me back to the homeland. The smaller the bits are, the better because you are, um, it's going to be melted. Oh. Our cheese is crumbled. Our broccoli is washed. We've washed our lemon and now we're going to zest it. Here's how to zest a lemon. This is a great lesson. You will use this all the time. Wash your lemon, get all the wax off of it, and then Take your zester or your grater and go around your lemon one pass at a time. Don't go over the lemon more than once. You want it to maintain that yellow color. Anytime you have that white that's underneath that next layer, it's very bitter and not that appealing. One teaspoon of lemon zest. Give that a whack, you've got your lemon zest, a heaping quarter teaspoon of red chili pepper. Okay. Um, pepper, 12 turns, 12 big turns, one, two, three, quarter teaspoon. Feel the burn, feel the burn. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of oregano, though I feel like you could do more if you wanted to. What time are we at? Four minutes. We have four minutes to toast our almonds. So what we're gonna do, is take our half cup sliced almonds. No oil, just like no, 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 yeah, because you're toasting them. You're not, yeah, saute. So in a single layer in this saute pan on a medium heat, they they cook really quickly once they start cooking. So you, you want to keep watching over them, which is why I'm leaving this to the last step when you're done with all that and your pasta's yeah, cooking. Good. So we just let this cook. Um, you keep it on medium. Here I'm starting to crackle. Okay, yeah. now we really want to watch them. I'm turning off the heat, but they're still in the pan because they're going to cook a little bit. I'm pouring my broccoli in. Oh, look Pour it away from you people so you don't get splattered. The broccoli is going to cook for three minutes. <laughs> How are our nuts? We're good. Give it a shake, but you kind of want a little bit of that excess water in there. And go. Yeah. Mix it? Start. Yeah, mix it up. Mmm. You know what I smell is the lemon. Yeah. And look, the cheese is melting. Mmm. You got your oregano, you've got your Red pepper flakes. Okay, so now we're going to add two tablespoons of good olive oil. Okay, let's toss in our nuts. So easy. Okay, good. And then we're going to taste this because um, we're going to salt it afterwards because the feta cheese is so salty. Yeah. It's got all the elements. You've got your vegetable in there, you've got your protein cheese and your almonds or fat in your almonds. Try that and let me know if you want me to add some salt. Okay. It's 
very possible. Though the water is salted and the feta is salted, you may not need any. Mmm. Mmm. We don't need any salt. It's freaky good. Really? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I cannot wait to make this for my husband. Really? I like it, right? Mm -hmm. How? And my boyfriend will love it. <laughs> So good. So mm. good. I like how the broccoli is still crisp mm -hmm. and you have that crunch of those almonds. How quick and easy is this? Very quick and easy and really delicious.